Greetings, and welcome to my latest video. This time, I'm going to put a little more visual to it, so that you can understand what I'm talking about. When we last left the ponies of Ponyville, the Cutie Mark Crusaders had to deal with a bully named Bab Seed, and the entire episode was about bullying. Consider the f considering the fact that I'm an adult, and a little sensitive to very, very specific situations that happen on a television or computer screen, I kept, kept on expecting this episode to show some blood. Have a hardcore being from Babs to one of the Cutie Mark Crusaders actually kill one of them, or maybe frame them for murder or theft. Heck, maybe have a scene where Babs takes a knife and puts it in one of one of the CMC's mouth for the purpose of putting a smile on her face, mirroring the famous Why So Serious scene from The Dark Knight. Just to add it all up, I was expecting Babs or the CMC to say something similar to what the angry video game nerd or the nostalgia critic would say if they got upset over what they were reviewing. It was for this reason that I prayed to God that I wouldn't curse, punch it on my computer monitor, get so upset over what happened in the episode, or even hit myself or something like that, or, you know, like that. See? Let's see that. That is a bad thing for me to do. Apparently, I didn't get any violent moments, or hardcore cursing, or super intense situations in this episode. Babs just acted like someone who wanted to embarrass the cutie mark crusaders and not give them pain or blood. I talked to a friend who said that it's a kid's show and that I should learn not to expect stuff like that. Well, let me tell you something, friend. How am I supposed to not expect hardcore violence or intensity in a kid's show when I know that there exists an anime movie that has this in it? You get out. I've had enough. <laughs> You see what I mean? I was like this during the Cantalot Wayne and a little bit of the Crystal Empire. In the Cantalot Wayne, I was expecting Princess Celeste to give Twilight Sparkle a hardcore beating for warning her about games similar, similar to this. You see? Oh, and every time someone says the word defeat in a show like this, I keep on thinking of death or kill or even lifeless bodies. I thought Celestia died when she lost to Queen Crystals and everyone says the word defeat in that tense. How in the hell can you survive something like that? Even her survived too! In the Crystal Empire, when Twilight encounters the Door of Fears, I was expecting Celestia to murder Twilight the way she was acting. I mean, does anyone on the crew or writing staff know about Freddy Krueger, a killer that goes after you in your dreams, and when he kills you in such a, a violent manner in your dream, you die in the real, real world? Why do we even have to have the disadvantage of expecting such hardcore, dark, and sadistic material in a kid's show when it won't even remotely happen? Well, on the other hand, I'm extremely hyped for the latest episode, Magic Duel, with Trixie's return in it. Apparently, I really didn't want to spoil myself on reading some of the articles or stuff about the episode, but it is no doubt that Trixie is in this episode. With a tile like Magic Duel, with Trixie involved, you know that there's going to be some epic battle of butt kicking. Heck, this episode's getting a little more publicity than the other episodes before it. USA Today just wrote an article about us bronies. Speaking of articles, here's a little annotation linking you to an article about me and a man named James Swift wrote. If you're on a mobile device, which many of you are, you probably won't be able to see the annotation, so you have to click the link in the description to get back there. Get there, I mean. Back to Magic Duel. For the episode, I'm going to have my Trixie brushable pony figure on my desk. 
And if anyone can make a piece of artwork to look like a movie poster for this episode, then do it. In the style of Drew Struzan, one of the greatest poster artists ever. I mean, he created the Star Wars and Indiana Jones posters. So, are any of you hyped for the episode? And can any of you provide an explanation for why I keep on expecting such hardcore, dark, and sadistic material on a kid's show when it really isn't going to happen? Comment below, down there. See ya this Saturday, when good and evil collide, and when all hell is breaking loose, you'll be running in the eye of the storm.